Hello, and welcome to the Salesforce Center podcast by Mass Miller, where we connect with Salesforce experts, customers, and innovators to talk about smarter, more effective email communication within Salesforce. I'm your host, Siva Devaki, co founder of Mass Miller. In this episode, I'll be joined by Valentina Lucchetti from HFM Advisors, a valued financial services customer of Mass Miller. Valentina will share her experience using Mass Miller for Salesforce and how it has helped elevate their client outreach. Let us dive right in. Oh, hi, Valentina. I'm so sorry for the delay. Oh, no, you're perfectly fine. How are you? Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure talking to you. I'm so happy that uh, you accepted and getting a <laughs> call with me here today. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Um, yeah, so I basically just want to check how things are with Mass Mailer. I mean, I know um, it's been quite some time since uh, yeah. I've been using it. I yeah, I'd say when, when did we start? Here. Back in September, I think we started using Mass Mailer. Something on those lines, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's been yeah. going very well. Yeah, we have, uh-huh. you know, we've completely used that as our email platform. So we send out everything from there. So off emails or even uh-huh. like, you know, like mass emails, they all get sent from there. So I, I would say it's going ver- rather well. Okay, okay. And you, you're a wealth management ad- advisor, or what's it? What exactly you we you we are both wealth management advisors and 401k uh-huh. advisors. So we oh, do a little bit of both in that. So uh-huh. sometimes we do have to send to plan participants, which that's like a large number of people. Um, or sometimes we're just sending it to our wealth management clients, which would be a smaller group of people. Okay, okay. And what kind of emails are there? What do you send typically? Yeah, so we, I send out, so any kind of like announcement email, so be that, you know, like an office closure or just like something, because, you know, the stock market's been crazy lately. So we've been sending a lot of like, hey, like, here's what happened in the stock market today. No need to panic Mm -hmm. kind of emails. Send those out. And we also send out a lot of participant information to all of our 401k Uh participants. That's part of our fiduciary duty is to teach our uh-huh. 401k plan participants. So a lot of education gets sent through those as well. Okay, okay. And how about the wealth, wealth management side? What kind of emails are there? Yep, for the wealth management, we'll send out like monthly newsletters and we'll send out like notices. Let's just say like if we do like a podcast, like an announcement email like that. Okay, okay. And and any kind of uh, like a performance reports that you send, or that's from different system altogether, like portfolio and stuff like that. You don't send all of that, right? No, yeah, we no. usually don't send okay. those things out. Those come from somewhere else. Sure, sure. So basically, these are all more like you know, it could be promotional type of emails or any other notification. Yeah, I was gonna say it would be like more that. promotional or educational along those lines. Okay, okay, okay. And what were you using like before Mask Miller, if they may ask you? Absolutely. We were using HubSpot. Okay. And you switched to Salesforce from HubSpot? Yep. We spent, switched to Mask Miller from HubSpot. Okay. okay. But yeah, we still... run it. I was mm-hmm. going to say, we ran into like a handful of problems with them. Plus, the platform, we weren't really using it to its fullest potential. You know, we just didn't really have like the marketing staff for that at the time. It wasn't oh, okay, necessary okay. for us to be paying that much for it. Sure, 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 sure. Were you using Salesforce prior to. Um... We would occasionally use like the be free templates in, in yeah. Salesforce. Are you familiar with them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So we would like a Kate, but that was like a one off email. Like maybe okay. every once in a while we would send those emails out. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. So you're still using Salesforce for one off email sometimes. Do you know that you can actually use Mass Mailer to send one off email? Yeah, yep. I've been sending okay. out like some because we do, we have like uh, plan sponsors, is what they're called. And that's like the person that's in charge of all the plan participants. So uh-huh. I'll send emails directly to those person. I just go through their contacts and I send them over to them. Oh, okay, okay. So otherwise, you're using that simple send feature in Mass Mailer. Is that? Yeah. Your pain point? with HubSpot were basically it's uh, it was not manageable or you needed a honestly I just felt like it was it was a lot of money for HubSpot because it does so many things but we really didn't have a necessity for it at that time like all those capabilities they're great they're lovely but for our it wasn't really needed for us. Oh, okay. Okay, got it, got it. And so typically, it's uh, you who is sending emails from Mass Yeah, Yeah, it's okay. just me, actually. That's okay. why Jay said I might as well have the conversation because it's it's just me that goes in there. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. And when it comes to the benefits that you see after using Mass Mirror, like from a monetary perspective, time perspective, how did it like improve your organizational operations, like saving time, saving money? Anything yeah, I was going to say, it definitely saves us some money. Just like looking back at price comparison between Mass Miller and HubSpot. I don't, I 
guess maybe it does save a little bit of time because we're keeping everything in Salesforce. I mean, I personally, I, now that I'm in like the swing of it, I understand it completely. So it's easier for right. me to maneuver in there. But of course, anytime you're learning a new system, it's confusing at first. Okay, okay. Sure, sure, sure. But you were able to get up. You were able to just look at our tutorials and videos and able to uh, oh, start yeah. using MassMailer quickly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It wasn't difficult to start uh -huh. at all. Okay, okay. What are other systems that you may have used before? I, we never used MailChimp. That was never our thing. And let me see. I don't think we ever used, we pretty much only would use the, the be free template. Uh, what's it called? It? And HubSpot. HubSpot. Okay, okay, okay. What What do you think? One thing, if you really have to say good about MassMiller, what is that one thing? Oh, I really like Mass. It has very good deliverability. Which I feel like I, you know, uh -huh. I can count on it for the emails to get there. So that's why when people sometimes will email, they're like, "Oh, I didn't get it." I'm like, "Are right. you sure?" Because yeah. that was the number one problem that we ran into with HubSpot as well. That sometimes uh -huh. the emails themselves weren't getting delivered. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. And what else you would like to see in Mars Miller? Anything that you think we are missing that you really want to see? Let me think. Let me think. I guess the only suggestion that I would have when after like you send an email and you go into like the outreaches, if you click in the outreach, if you could just physically see the email itself, mm -hmm. that would be lovely because sometimes I don't remember yeah. what I sent to certain groups. And then yeah. you can always, of course, go into someone's contact, but I'm not sure who gets what all of the time. Oh, okay. So that's called preview template. There is there is an option actually an outreach. So there's a button. Oh. You just have to add it to the layout. That's it. So it's there already. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, already thought of it. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, so all you have to do is just go to the page layout of outreach and you'll okay. find a button called preview template and just add it to both the oh. lightning okay. and the other one. And that's it. That's all what we need. Wow. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sure, sure, sure. No problem. Yeah, we, we kind of trying to get feedback from our clients and see what improvements. Yes. We can make. Yeah, uh, I try to um I try to sit on all of the you know, webinars that you host. I try and when I'm uh -huh. free, I try to sit in on them just because I like to see if there's anything that I'm missing or anything right. that I can do better. Right, right, right. Okay, okay, cool, cool. And think would you be recommending mass mail to other people? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. I know okay. that Jason has to a couple uh -huh. of, you know, sure. I would say other entrepreneurs that uh -huh. were looking for other things. He said, we use Mass Miller, it's uh -huh. great. Oh, okay. wonderful, wonderful. Thank you so much. And what's your role, uh, if I can ask? Yeah, my role, I'm the marketing and events coordinator. Oh, okay, so you are very well versed with the marketing aspect then. Oh, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Okay, okay. And um, if I can ask you, like, would you be using SMS and WhatsApp features? You know, that's mm -hmm. a great question. We haven't really discussed that because I know that it has the capability to send out text messages. I know that uh -huh. we had originally talked about, like, maybe sending out text messages, you know, when the time comes. We haven't really, you know, dove into that, but I could see us potentially using it one okay, day. Okay. Do you have a need to archive your messages? Do you know how to? We don't necessarily have a need because we do, uh -huh. we BCC everything to the compliance filings. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, okay. so just for compliance purposes, we have yeah. to be able to see them all. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. And, that, how... and it makes it easier, too, because sometimes if I can't find the right. email that I'm looking for, I can just go in that specific person's contact. Right, right, right. And landing pages, do you see a need to have landing pages? I don't think so. We host all of our landing pages on our website, so we use WordPress for our website. So yeah. any landing pages or, like, uh, PDFs, we usually host them in WordPress just because mm -hmm. we know the yeah. website's always going to be there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much again for uh, spending time here. And I know it was a little late. No, already. absolutely. No problem at all. Thank you so much. I appreciate, uh, yeah, appreciate it. And have a great day. Have a great day. Absolutely. Yeah. You as well. Have a great day. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Salesforce Center podcast by Mass Miller. We truly appreciate your time and interest. If you'd like to learn more about how Mass Miller can help you simplify and supercharge your email outreach in Salesforce, visit us at massmiller.io or give us a call at 1-800-297-0991 or send us an email at hello at massmiller.io. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, I'm Siva Devaki and we'll meet you again in the next episode of the Salesforce Center.